We only have two options in life. One is to acknowledge that God created the universe and sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, the word of God incarnate, and the author and finisher of life and all creation to declare that he is our salvation and he is in charge. The second option is to join with the spirit of this world and reject everything God is and declare your worship of self and the world. One decision chooses the kingdom of God's light and life through Jesus Christ. The other chooses the kingdom of darkness and eternal destruction. Welcome to the Renaissance Gathering, coming to you from Washington, D.C. I join with Paul the Apostle today in declaring the great truth of Christ's authority in his letter to the Colossians in chapter 1. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior, but now... He has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight, without blemish and free from accusation. If you continue in your faith, established and firm, and do not move from the hope held out in the gospel, this is the gospel that you heard and that has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven, and of which I, Paul, have become a servant, the apostle declared. We walk and live in our Christian faith, not by how we feel in the moment, but by the total authority of God's word. We all have great challenges in life. Some are constant, others are momentary. Listen to the words of this great old hymn entitled Constantly Abiding, written by Anne Murphy in the midst of great grief in 1910. There's a peace in my heart that the world never gave, a peace it cannot take away. Though the trials of life may surround like a cloud, I've a peace that has come to stay constantly abiding Jesus is mine constantly abiding rapture divine he never leaves me lonely whispers oh so kind I will never leave thee Jesus is mine all the world seemed to sing of a savior and king when peace sweetly came to my heart Troubles all fled away, and my night turned to day. Blessed Jesus, how glorious thou art. This treasure I have in a temple of clay, while here on his footstool I roam. But he's coming to take me some glorious day over there to my heavenly home. Constantly abiding. Jesus is mine, constantly abiding, 
rapture divine. He never leaves me lonely whispers, oh, so kind. I will never leave thee. Jesus is mine. Again, Paul reminds us in Colossians, the first chapter, verses 13 through 23, who is really in charge. As I share his major points, make them a declaration in your own heart and mind today. The Son is the image of God, the firstborn of all creation. For Him, all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible or invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. He is before all things and in him all things hold together he is the head of the body the church he is the beginning and the firstborn of among the dead so that in everything he might have supremacy for god was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him and through him to reconcile to himself all things by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior. Now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight without blemish and free from accusation. So now, if you continue in your faith, established and firm, do not move from the hope held out in the gospel. This is the gospel you heard and that has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven. We pray all of these things in agreement in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.